season of the Midwest Slice of Life. We're here at Schooners, a legendary place. I'm going to explain more about what we're doing when we get back to the Midwest Slice of Life kitchen tasting area. And we will be back there in our usual three, two, and... One. And here we are with the third season of the Midwest Slice of Life. We're here in the Midwest Slice of Life kitchen and tasting area. As always, I'm your host, Marty, for the third season, which I'm amazed we're here. Danny is behind the camera. Say hi to everybody, Danny. Hi, everybody. Marty, you didn't tell me this place was this cool. Yeah, I just moved in here. Long backstory. I had a fire at my other place, moved into this new area, and this is where we're going to be filming all the tasting uh, for the episodes that are coming up here. Uh, Danny's going to be on the other side there, and uh, it's not only a new place to be doing it from, it's a new theme to it. We did pizza the first two seasons, but D Dan and I were talking, we're like, it's Midwest Slice of Life, so we could do all kinds of Midwestern foods, and there's nothing more Midwestern than a pork tenderloin sandwich. Don't you, wouldn't you agree, Danny? I agree 100%. If you think Midwest, you think pork. And tenderloins. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's something on the east and west coast they don't have. Back when I started my blog, I more people from New York were were looking at my blog, and I did a thing on tenderloin sandwiches, and people kept sending me emails or calling me saying, what is this tenderloin sandwich? So anyway, we're going to do, this season is all pork tenderloin sandwiches. We're starting out with a classic, but before we start, I do want to address the white elephant that's in the room right now that you're all probably looking at, and that is this pimple right here on my nose. I'm, I'm 64 years old. Haven't had a pimple since I've been like 18 years old. I thought, well, you know, this shit is all over. I woke up the other day, and this thing, it was bigger than this like a couple days ago, and I was hoping by the time we filmed it would be gone, but it's not going anywhere. Uh, you guys are best friends now. Well, no, we're not. I hate this thing. <laughs> Uh, and it's just like I looked at him like, well, thanks, God. Thanks for giving me this. You know, I it's really a great thing that you've done for me. And while I'm talking to you, God, thanks for COVID-19. That was that was a lot of fun. It's, that was the gift that keeps on giving. Friends of mine are still getting that shit. And oh, thanks for September 11th, God. You know, I was in New York then. That sucked. You know, and while I'm thanking you, God, thanks for like killing my brother, my parents, my grandparents. So anyway, that's enough of my God rant. I mean, maybe we've lost some viewers over this, but uh, anyway, this pimple's going to be here for a while. I'm going to be totally transparent. We film a bunch of these in a day, so this isn't going anywhere for a while, so get used to it. It'll be your next best friend. But anyway, <laughs> onwards and upwards with the start of our tenderloin tour. We have started out with a classic Peoria place for tenderloins. They're also known for their beer-battered chicken, their onion rings, and it's none other than schooners. You saw it at the beginning. Schooners Schooners has a tenderloin. There I say, I haven't had one in years, but they say it's as big as a plate. We have it right here. I'm going to take it out right now. It's in a bag. I mean, it's heavy. Oh, my God. This is insane. Let me get it out of here. Look at this thing. What? <laughs> this is crazy. It's got a pickle and onions on it. It's the size of a Buick. Yeah, it's... Now, I haven't had Schooner's Tenderloin in quite a while. The last time one I had, the other thing we we're going to rate is condiments, and they didn't they didn't give us any condiments. So, uh, I'm going to run real quickly. Danny, maybe you can describe that while I get some mustard for this. In the kitchen. This is a Tenderloin. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm back. All right, here we go. I got some craft mustard. If they didn't give us condiments, which they didn't, I didn't ask. I thought that would be another thing we'll kind of base the rating on. Uh, but I mean, it, this is ridiculous. I don't even know. Oh, the bottom bun is there. Oh, my. So it's, and I will tell you right now. The bun really isn't that fresh. I mean, I hope we don't do a bad review right off the gate, but I got to be honest here. I'm going to put a little mustard on it. It's got onions and pickles. You know, if you lose a uh, hubcap on your car, yeah. Marty, I think this will work perfect. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I, I mean, I don't even know how you pick this thing up. 
Well, I guess like this. With a crown. All right, let me try it here. It's really awkward to eat. And it doesn't really have a lot of taste to it. No napkins. You want to use my shirt? <laughs> I ought to wipe it on my pimple, too. <laughs> Does something for that. Um, it's not horrible. And I mean, it is such a Peoria landmark. I hate to give it a really bad rating. Um, again, we're going to rate these from 1 to 10. I'll give it a 6.2 rating. Uh, but... It's not highly recommended. I really like their chicken there. Their onion rings are to die for. Try those. So this has been the first tenderloin of the tour. A little bit of a disappointment, but that's just the way it goes. Schooners, it's on War Memorial, Peoria Heights. Check it out. The rest of their food is great. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And we will see you next week for another pork tenderloin sandwich right here on the Midwest Slice of Life.